Good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. So, guys, this is a Speak Easy, and you guys know that I do the episodes of Speak Easy normally live on Facebook, but what I've incorporated is that, guess what? We will now have some live interviews or some recorded interviews done as well. You'll still be able to see Speak Easy on YouTube, my YouTube channel, as well as on my Facebook page. So you're probably catching the replay of this somewhere up and down your timeline, either as a share or because we are friends. I appreciate you guys. So today, 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 I have Miss Deidre Manigal on today, and I am super excited. Now, you guys know that with Speak Easy, we're always talking about the behind the scenes of what it is to be a speaker or an author. So I'm excited because Deidre is actually in the process of writing her book. So she can give you some great insights to some head bump moments, some moments where she's kind of rolled her eyes at me in the background and things like that. But if you don't know who I am, I am Altavis Pelzer. I am the voice coach. I am a motivational speaker, certified life coach, and Amazon best-selling author. I currently have five books on Amazon, two of which I co-authored and three that I authored on my own. And so that's why I kind of come and give you guys the behind the scenes is because literally I went through so many bumps and bruises, hitting my head on the wall, not knowing which direction to go into. And there was really not anybody out there that was telling me where I should go. What's the next, next direction? What's the next step? Am I doing this right? Am I doing it wrong? There was really no guidance. The only guidance that was out there were people that were charging a couple thousand dollars for one question. Guys, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's not, I understand. But at this point, you can now publish your own books. You can be a speaker on many different platforms, social media being one of those platforms. So we know that the opportunities are in list. So I want to say welcome to Miss Deidre. So why don't we start off with Deidre, you telling us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Deidre Manigal, and I am the founder the CEO and owner of the underscore heart matters. And you can find that on my business page on Facebook. I cater to people who are newly diagnosed or have been living with the disease called sarcoidosis. The age range that I work with is between 20 and 40. Now, I will extend it out a little bit more because, as you see, I'm 51 years old and I was diagnosed when I was 27. So, you know, I extend it out as well. And I want to extend it out to people whose family members may not understand it and just really um, be a force to be reckoned with for sarcoidosis and be a um, voice that's crying out in the wilderness that's saying, we need you to find a cure. 5% of people, that's the mortality rate. 5% is too much for me. So I'm just elated to be doing this. I'm writing my first book called Sarcoidosis Sanctuary, When Hell Met Heaven. And I'm really excited about it. I just did my first episode, Facebook Live, Periscope Active, Disloyal. So I will go on Periscope and do it today. Uh, my first episode of Sarcoidosis, My Journey. Now, I will put out a disclaimer that I am not a medical professional, but I can speak from my life experience living with sarcoidosis. That's awesome. That's awesome. So at what part of the journey are you in when it comes to writing your book? Like, are you just got the outline or have you already started thinking about your chapters? Like, what part of the journey are you on? Right now, for me, I am just beginning it. So I am in the outline stages, but also writing as well. But my writing is actually through my videos. So as I speak to everyone about my journey via Facebook Live and Periscope, then I'm going to take them and I'm going to have the videos transcribed. And we're going to look at the finished product 
and it will be out to you by the end of this year. Promise. Great, great. So that's great that you do have a date that you're striving towards having it published by. Now, is there any significance in the date that you've chosen to publish it on? The significance of the date that I chose to publish it on is the date of my mother's birthday. And Mm -hmm. my mother always wanted to write a book. She always kept saying, I want to write about my life. And so for me, this is me paying homage to her for everything that she's done for me in my life. She's no longer here. She's deceased. But, you know, this is my way of saying, Mommy, this is for you. Not as as well as for the Sarkadosa community, because my mother was a very big, staunch supporter of me going through my journey. And so this is my giving back to her. That's awesome. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not going to get all emotional today. Don't get emotional. Oh. It's okay if we get emotional, though, because you know it's emotional for me. And when that day comes, it's, I think it's really going to be emotional. I'm probably going to be like, uh, 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 and it's going to be okay, because it's okay to cry. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> and so this is going to be your first book. So when it comes to the idea of writing a book, what scared you the most? Whoa, the fact that I opened my mouth and said, I am going to write a book. And I'm thinking, me, what can I possibly say to anybody that's going to be of any significance? So that, that, that really scared me. And now that I'm in the throes of it, it's like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And guess what? It's not as bad as I thought. It's actually cathartic. Good, 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 good. That's great to know and great to understand. A lot of people get scared. Um, They say that there's literally like 85 to 90% of the world of people want to write a book, but there's not 85 to 90% of the people in the world writing a book. And so when we think about Um, oh my goodness, I'm going to take this journey to write this book and what's really holding me back. A lot of times it's that we really don't believe that somebody is, you know, really has the, uh, wants to put their money and spend their money on something that we have to say, or, you know, that what we have to offer the world is not as important as we would think. And so I'm glad that you brought that point up because like I said, that's one of the top reasons why people will not write a book. It's because they're like, I don't have anything to talk about. I don't have anything to discuss. And so I applaud you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Coach. <laughs> so now we have, you have the book title, which it, that was a phenomenal book title. If, if I, Thank a, you. a phenomenal book title. Thank you. What's one of the other things, what's the next step for you? I know you said that you're doing the video so that way you can have everything um, transcribed. That's a great process in getting your book done. And so then what is next after that for you? Well, once the book is published, Mm -hmm. of course, you know, got to get out there, market myself and let everybody know about it so they can pick up the book. But I'm excited because next month I will be in Chicago and I will be doing a one to three mile walk for the Bernie Mac Foundation and um, I'm just so excited because you know Bernie Mac he passed away with sarcoidosis and it just excited me because it took me back when he died in 2008 I was actually you know like I'm going there I'm going to work with this foundation but my mom took ill And um, I called them yesterday and and I looked on the site and I was like, oh my God, they're doing this in in September. I got to do this. I got to go. You know, I could have did virtual, but I was like, no, I want to be there. And after speaking with the people there, they let me know um, they're going to connect me with someone so that we can do fundraising and see what we can do together to really just make this whole thing come to fruition. So I'm just so excited. And I'm going to be putting up a donate button on my website because 
I am pledging to raise $1,000. So I want everybody to just please, please donate because this is for a great cause. And, you know, had I not been diagnosed with this, I would have never known about it. And so I want people to just be educated about this. So I'm, I'm just excited about that um, product line coming out, but that's something down the pike. But um, right now, this, and I did an article with um, journalist Lori Irby Jackson for the Dallas Morning News and for her blog, Mother of Color. So if anyone, please go and look at the article, go to motherofcolor.com and like it and let them let her know what you think about it. So I'm, I'm just excited. It's just so much. It's so much. It's so much. Oh my goodness. I'm like super excited for you. I see. It's a lot. I know we oftentimes, I know one of the things that I always say to people is that we think that, oh, we don't have what we need. And so we never get started. We don't have what we need. We never get started. We don't have what we need. So we never get started. But the reality of it is, is a lot of times the things and the people that we need will come as we're in motion as we're moving towards whatever goal that is, whatever thing that is we said that we wanted to accomplish, as we take steps towards that, literally the people that we need, the, the money that we need, everything that we need, the resources, will they show up. They show exactly. up. Either they show up because they, they, people brought them to you or because you're walking into them. Exactly. I, I totally agree. And for me, like I tell people all the time, my faith has is so important to me and that is what has kept me and sustained me and so i know that everything that's happening it is god ordained and he said this is your time now it's time for you to go ahead and do all that i have ordained for you to do so you know it was a setback you know but in a sense i don't say a setback because my mom was priority but he was like not now not then, but now. So now I'm just walking in it and walking with him. And yesterday when I made that phone call and just spoke with them and, and signed up for this thing, I, I, it took me back to that day in 2008 when I was like, after he died, I said, I'm going there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And for it to really be coming to fruition now, it's like, oh my God, God, you are so awesome. So I'm just you it. Yes, indeed. So my last question for you, and then I'm going to have you tell people how they can get in contact with you and where they can find you on social media. My last question for you is what has been your greatest resource during this whole time? What's that one thing that you're like, yeah, this has really been that springboard to get me started? Well, <clears throat> two things. Altavis Pelzer, the voice coach, a.k.a. the unicorn. I saw her on the scope last year, and her spirit just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was like, I want to work with her. I love her spirit. So you have been a motivating force for me. And two, the Reactivate Me group that we are in, the accountability class, because you hold me and the other ladies accountable and the ladies hold we hold each other accountable so it's because of those things taking the classes with you um it just opened up a door for me and you saw things in me that i didn't see you know as i told you i just wanted to write a book but you saw you saw so much more in me so um i i would really have to say those two things really have been a springboard for me and deciding to finally say I choose me that's important that's very important mm -hmm. because with all the resources in the world you got to say yes you got to say yes to yourself yes, and so yeah, I am so super excited guys if you don't know this is Adidra Manigault she is one of my clients but she's on because she is in the process of writing her book and you know that with speakeasy we're always going behind the scenes talking about what it means to write a book what it means to be an author what it means to be a speaker the behind the scenes stuff and she gave you some good little nuggets right there that accountability 
is a great resource. That's something that a lot of people don't realize when they're starting out because everybody wants to be that solopreneur and you don't have to be. Resources, resources, resources. <laughs> and yes. she just said something else that was really amazing was that literally her and I met on social media. So you never know what kind of reach you're going to have with social media, Facebook, Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus. I mean, LinkedIn, the, the, the options are endless. So you never know how people are going to be able to reach you, how far that reach is going to be able to be until you move, until you go ahead and try it out. And she's been going live on social media as well. So Deidre, let them know where they can find you on social media and how they can get in contact with you if they want more information. Sure. Um, they can reach me at the, and make sure you put the underscore, heart underscore matters on Facebook. That's my Facebook business page. You can reach me there. You can leave me a message. Um, you can reach me through Messenger. Um, my personal page, Deidre, D-E-D-R-A, Manigault, M-A-N-I-G-A-U-L-T. I'm also on Periscope at, as at humble underscore Hadassah, H-A-D-A-S-S-A-H. Um, website, give me a little bit for that, but you can also see, um, what I've done on Instagram under humble Hadassah, um, Twitter and the same handle. And I'm just working it out. So just keep looking for me. And like I say, go to that Facebook business page and you can leave me a message. And I promise you, I will get back to you. Well, I definitely appreciate you for coming on today. Those who are joining us, thank you for catching this via the replay. My name is Altavis Pelzer. I am a professional speaker, certified life coach, and Amazon best-selling author. I currently have five books on Amazon two of which I co-authored and three that I authored my own. But guess what, guys? I got some more things coming down the pipeline. So you definitely want to connect with me on social media. I am at Find Your Voice Now on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, as well as on Periscope. And on Twitter, I am at The Voice Coach. Don't forget, if you're catching this, we definitely want to know how you felt about this particular interview or any of the other Speak Easy episodes that have been coming on. So leave a comment so we can reach out to you, so we can, you know, talk to you, engage with you a little bit. That's what it's all about is taking this to the next level. So we appreciate you guys. I thank you so much again, Deidre, for coming on thank today. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Don't forget to press it out.